All right, everyone. This is a new smoke alarm that I got today. This here is an Early Guard EGD-5S hardwired smoke alarm. I got this from my church. Today I went and I replaced the smoke alarm there. This had been in the upstairs hallway and I replaced it with an Akita I-12060. Um, and yeah, it's, um, here's the, well, here's the front of it, and here's the back of it. As you can see, this one doesn't have any wiring connectors or anything, it's just the, the wires come right out of the back of the unit. I have it wired up and it's plugged in right there. <coughs> now, the cover on this is sealed, you can't get into the cup, you can't get open the cover. So you have to use a mounting bracket, and that's a, actually have the mounting bracket right here. I already put it on the wires, and the mounting bracket goes on like this. Let's see if I can get it through the holes. See the wires come through the hole in the center, and it slides on like this. Ugh, like that. But another thing, notice that this has keyhole mounting slots. That's because there was a battery-powered version of this, the EGD-5B, which you could open the cover on that one. But as far as I know, um, well, as far as I know, I think, I'm not sure if the EGD-5B had those slots for a mounting bracket. I think it did, but I'm not sure. Um, there's the label. Let's see. Right there. See, these are made by Square D Company the same company that made the circuit breakers and service panels, electric service panels for houses. See, model EGD-5S. This one uses one micro, one micro curie of MRCM-241. And there's the cover latches. Once again, I, as I said, they, you can't open this. But look, as you can see, there's um, a place to put a battery. Now remember I said, what I said about the EGD-5B, which is the battery powered version, I've got my flashlight here, um, they reused the um, base and cover from the EGD-5B to make this. And how I can tell is that if you look really closely on the inside there, see if I turn the camera on, you can sort of see writing right there, see continuous one indicates alarm. And then there's another thing about replacing the battery, even though this isn't doesn't have a battery backup, of course, because you can't get the cover open. See, there you see, there's stuff about replacing the battery. And if you look really closely on the base, you can actually see battery information, like information about which battery you use and everything. So they, they were pretty cheap in reusing the cover and... Camera's on the wrong setting. And reusing the cover and base from the EGD-5S, or 5B, sorry. Um, yeah, this has a test button in the middle of the unit, and there's a red LED underneath the test button. Now, the 5B didn't have an LED under the test button, so that was one upgrade they, they made. Um, so, this one, this, well, let me sh show you the inside of it. Let me see if I can get my flashlight. There's the sensor right there. It has, it has holes at the top of it. As you can see, it has a little slot to the top of it, which is pretty interesting, but it also has a slot on the side of it, of course. And there's the horn. It's a piezo-type horn. Um, some earlier models had the old-fashioned mechanical horns. And then, of course, there you can see the um, place to put the battery. You can see the little plus and minus markings. And then right here, this is pretty interesting. See, it says push and hold to test on that side. On this side, it says test weekly with smoke. So they're telling you two different things, and it's kind of confusing. So, yeah. Because it has a test button, but they're telling you to test it with smoke. Uh, it's pretty confusing. Um, so... Um, yeah, like I said, I replaced this from my church, and it had spent basically its entire life on the wall 
It was actually mounted on a back box. The back box was about this big, and it was like, it had like an inch of space between it and the wall, or like two inches of space in between the unit and the base and the wall. It spent basically its whole life up there until I replaced it. And one thing I noticed when I was taking it down is that it's the cover design here has been just very similar to this cover design. This is my Entronic smoke alarm. As you can see, of course, they don't look that similar if you look right at them. This has the almost an old, the old BRK style vents, and this has a very unique slotted style vents. But if you look at it from the side, you almost can't tell. Of course, this one's so much yet more yellowed than this one, and this one. You can almost can't tell which is which is which. Of course, there's the slots up there, and this one you see doesn't. But yeah. So maybe they got this cover design from this. I don't know. Of course, this is much older because it uses the 12.6 volt battery and it has the squealer horn. Put that aside. So now let's go and test it. Now, okay, so just push the test button. Let's test it. As you can hear, it does sort of a fast 5-6 alarm pattern. Um, and as you see, if I, when, I, when you push the test button, look at the LED. See if I can get this. It doesn't really work if you push on the sides. It doesn't really work that well. See, the LED kind of pulsates, or pulses, with the pattern of the alarm. It's very fast, 5-6. Well, not very fast. It's just a lot faster than most of the normal ones. So, that's my early guard, EGD-5S smoke detector.